Let's go to the WEM website now. That is www.wem.io. Now sign in to your account that was created in the last session. Login. Now this is your dashboard. Here you can find the documentation related items. Training where you can have the basic training free of cost. And here are the few basic examples of some simple applications. Now let's go to the modeler. Click here. Modeler is the platform where you will be building your applications. Create new project from here. Name it employees app. Leave all other options default right now and just go to next, next and next. Select a master template for your application. You can select any of these and then hit create project. Now the first step in building any application is to create your data model or defining your variables. So now go to the second tab, this one, data model. Create a new data list in your data field by right clicking on it. Name it ABC company or any other company you wish to name. Select database list and then hit save button. Now in the ABC company data list, create new fields by right clicking on it. Name it first name. Keep data field type as text as the first, uh, name of the employee is in text. Hit save button. Similarly, create two other text fields, last name and email in the ABC company database list. Now create another data field, which is a co uh, combination of first name and last name and name it full name. The value of this data field is calculated Click here to open the expression editor window. Use concat function to join the first name and the last name. Drag, drag first name. Then go. And comma and then the last name check for the validation the expression is valid then click ok after that hit the save button now let's move to the another section that is the flow charts uh, click here on the first tab that is the flow charts in this you can see that there is already a flowchart that is home it is the default flowchart that is always present to create new flowcharts we can click right click on flowcharts and then click new flowchart but in this application we will proceed with the home flowchart only click on home flowchart now this is the space where flowcharts can be created these are various types of nodes that can be used in flowchart creation. Now every flowchart starts with a start node that is already present here. Now drag a user interaction node from here. User interaction node is visible to the user. 
name it view employees now click on view employees now this is the first screen that is visible to the user we want to display the list of employees data here to do this go to data model and drag the abc company data list here and select create data grid select the fields that you want to display like first name last name full name and then email and then click on ok button now create a button exit to um, add new users uh, new employees data drag a button to here and create a new button exit name it add employee change the appearance of this button from here like change the color icon don't forget to save the template now go back to the home flowchart connect view employees with start now pull a list action node from here select abc company data list and the action is add row connect view employees interaction node to this list action node and select add employee button exit now drag another user interaction node name it add employee mark it show as overlay connect this user interaction node to the list action node now drag save database changes node here and discard database changes node here now join this add employee user interaction node to save database changes node and create exit name it save similarly join this user interaction node to discard database changes node and create another exit name it cancel now join this save database changes node to the view employees user interaction node and this discard database changes node to the view employees interaction node now click on add employees user interaction node now this screen is visible to the user when he hits the button add employee remove this add employee now drag from form from here forms are used to take input from the user first name last name and email id now drag a button exit from here select save create another button exit select cancel change the appearance of these button exits like um, green for save
cancel red color and then save the template from here now our application is complete click on this preview button to test the application now you can see that this is our first user interaction node template right now we are not having any data so it is not displaying anything so to enter the data add employee button click on here this will take us to the next user interaction node which is shown as the overlay input form you can write first name here last name email appeal dot calra at the rate gram dot com and then hit the save button similarly you can add other data which will be displayed here so our application is working fine with this let's close this session thank you bye